Buongiorno. Hello, everyone. It's so great to be back. Oh, my gosh. We are so happy. We are. We are. And I just want to say a little special announcement today. Today is our one-year anniversary. Oh, that's awesome. We did it. We did it. Happy anniversary to you. Thank you. And I want to say, you know, as I look at you, yes, you look younger now. Then when we started the show, Look how is that? that possible? Well, I don't know. Could what, be, what do you got going on? You didn't tell us. Don't tell her. Yeah. Instantly ageless. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Yeah. I'm addicted. I'm you addicted. look incredible. I just ordered two more bottles of it. Yeah. yeah. No, your just whole, business. everything. Thank your you. skin looks amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's amazing stuff. It <laughs> actually works, which is a miracle because I have tried every cream and every potion and every lotion out there on the market and <laughs> nothing, nothing. Uh, this is the only thing that's really worked for us. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. really happy it's, with it's it. It's a great product. And, and the other thing I want to say is, you know, it's been a year, uh, um, an, another year in our nutrition cleansing journey yes and we have both obviously maintained Maintain. a very healthy lifestyle and a very fun lifestyle too, yes because yes. you know we believe in that 80 20 rule and sometimes 100%. it's 70 30 but you know who's well counting? these past weeks have been yeah. 70 30 for sure <laughs> <It's> counting, <right? laughs> but kind of um, the other way <laughs> don't you feel great now I feel that great. you're back yeah and um, I think that's really the beauty of nutritional cleansing is that you can go away for two weeks and eat you know, pasta, cheese, and meats, and, and everything under and the pizza. sun. pizza. I mean, pizza, pizza, pizza. Oh Come gosh. on. And Naples the best. Um, Unbelievable. But, yeah, we ate like crazy people mm -hmm. for two weeks straight, and um, within the last week, I've pretty much lost it all. Yeah. So, We're right back. I yeah. feel right back to where I was before I left. And um, the other thing, though, I have to say is we did eat a lot of, you know, decadent food. But yes. Everything, as we were talking about this, was straight from the vine. Yeah, straight fresh. out of the garden. Straight, nothing was from a box. Not yeah. one thing is from a can. Even the mozzarella they made fresh, in, they front of us. in front of they us. They were like, so we talk were, about oh. zero preservative. I mean, they don't oh, even yeah. understand what preservative, and they don't no. understand why we don't eat like that. Like they can't. Right. Well, I don't understand yeah. why we don't eat like that it's either. True. I mean, true. it just doesn't make sense. No, um, it's great. But, so we have a couple of pictures we want to show first, or definitely. Yeah, definitely. Tom, let's so, start with, uh, yeah, that's oh. at the winery. So let's talk a little bit about the winery yes, um, yes. that's coming up. So Massimo and... Massimo Alois and Michele Alois, that's the two gentlemen in the picture. Oh, we went, we, we skipped already. Okay. Um, so the first picture was the two owners of the well, winery. Well, no, the first picture's up there oh, still. Oh, it's still there. See, okay. it's on the okay. right. Oh, yeah. right. I can't see the camera. Yeah, okay. Okay. So this was at the winery, and when we got to Caserta which is north of Naples. Mm -hmm. um, we were invited to visit the Alois wineries and have a wine tasting night, which was phenomenal. Oh my God. And we got those little clothespins. Yeah, that was right? great. I had yeah. more clothespins than anybody in the first yes. 10 minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you, I beat everybody. <laughs> yes, um, clothespins and cheese. That's but what, what was did. great, yeah, what was really nice about it was that this cheese guy was here. And oh he yeah, this gentleman fresh made cheese. all this fresh cheese. Oh, it was beautiful. It was ah, beautiful. Incredible. And, and the cheese corresponded with the different types of wines. That's right. Which was, in, was really interesting. Made sense. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. How it and I love the, the um, whole scenery. Like, this is Jody and Jess oh, right before their beautiful. ceremony, which was why we went to Italy to begin with. But yes. we did extend it and do other things. But congratulations to Jody and yes, Jess. It was yes. such a beautiful so, affair. So at the proud Alois of that moment. Vineyard. So yeah. proud of that moment. And the, and the Supreme Court ruling came that the day before and, and we were able, you know, they were able to get married and it was just yeah. really yeah. an epic moment. I mean, Karen and I were crying. Yeah. Well, we were very emotional. Actually. The ceremony yeah. was magnificent. Their vows, everything. It was beautiful. It yeah, was, was just great. a beautiful oh. night. It's a beautiful and place. And here we are, the party girls. Yeah. Well, we had oh, Michelle in there too. Michelle that was Follow, great. That was great. And our friends from Naples. Our friends from Naples. They own a restaurant in Naples that makes the best food and the best pizza. And guess what show they watch? Shake it up. Shake it up. Now That's we'll right. Know that. We love it. And you know what was great Holla. about them is that they had a little bit of a glitch with the electric that day. Yeah. And within seconds, they were like, no problem. They whipped up something else. Yeah. It came, all food came out. No stress. No stress. No stress. Fresh, delicious, no, more wine, unbelievable, no stress. unbelievable. <laughs> more wine, no more stress. More wine, right? 
We did, we did drink a lot of wine. Um, oh. Here we are on our way to Capri. Yeah. Look at those two bad boys in the back They're there. They're cute, funny. right? That Look was, at them. We were on our way to Capri for the day with the whole family. We had an amazing time. Amazing time. And uh, yeah. Carrie and I, Karen and I knew how to party. We, we stocked up for the boat, right? Yes, 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 yes. We got rosé <laughs> and there sandwiches. Look at us. And there we are. We're partying already. We're, this is on the way to Capri. We didn't even get there yet. So. Yeah, we didn't even get Guys, there. Guys, if you've never been to Italy, all I could say to you is... Get there. Yeah. It is insane. Um, we traveled from the south to the north all, mm -hmm. all throughout, and uh, we did it in two weeks. It was incredible. And I have to say, too, like, um, a large portion of it was my family. Yeah. And um, you know how family can be, people. Wonderful family. I Don't mean, even listen to it. No, Such no, a wonderful no. time, wonderful Yes, family. but what I want to say is yes. you know how family can be. Yes. Okay? Yes. So there's potential for problems. Drama, arguments, who's not talking, right. this thing, that. I have to say, yeah. I was so impressed with everyone. And I loved how everybody intermingled with everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody embraced everyone's friends. Like, Jody and Jessica's friends became our friends. Right, right, And absolutely. you became their friends. And every, I mean, it was just just such a beautiful, beautiful um I love all space. my new family. Yeah. That's what Aww. I'm going to say. Yeah. Aww, and my, that's true. And my neighbor, Johanna, when she blew oh up gosh. the building with her flat iron. <laughs> Hello, Johanna. That was hysterical. <laughs> You gotta come out. That was soon. hilarious. <laughs> yes, yes. We have to definitely do a dinner. And but you know, um, speaking of Johanna, yes, she mentions on Facebook that she has a country house right by Roscoe, New York, which is where oh, that's Prohibition right. Distillery is. Yes, which is our guest today on yes. the show. Yes, so we that's are right. Really excited about that. Yeah, you we'll know? have to. We'll have to. Uh, Get Johanna a day pass for the for the that's distillery. It. We'll have to go see Johanna up there, and then all of us take oh, a ride. That's a great idea. That would be fun. Yeah, that would be. I a would lot love of fun. to see we it. We could do that. We yeah, could do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm into that. I'm into. So that. now tonight we're going to Prime for the North Shore Animal League's fundraiser. Yes, yes. That's and a that's another annual. It's a year. Woo! Oh, I know. It's we so were there exciting. last year with Beth Ostrowski Stern. Yes, Beth Stern is really Beth what she Stern, goes by yeah. now. She and, is um, beautiful. She's she? ridiculous. That's why Chris is coming tonight. Yeah. You know that, right? He's like a, she's like eight feet tall. Yeah, yeah, she's gorgeous. Yeah, I mean like, broad daylight, no makeup, just picture perfect. She's and young and just happy and healthy. You see, I mean, she just radiates health. Yeah, yeah. She's she's, she's a lives she's a very perfect. very. We uh, took clean a picture with lifestyle. her last year. Beth, we're coming this year again, so yeah. make sure we're taking our picture. We need and a of course, photo. we're invited by, um, you know, Michael Bolson and and Michael Romano. Oh, right. Um, from Maison Belclair, and, and we're going to be holding that. Maison Belclair all the night long. Our beautiful bottle. Our beautiful rosé. That's, that's our fave. It is our fave. And you remember Michael being on the show. Both Michaels were actually on the show. Michael Bolson was on our show last year this time. Oh, my gosh. He that's was right. He was one guests. of our first guests. Yeah. It was Dr. Du Bois. Yes. And, and then, then Michael. Michael. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. we had to switch them because he got stuck in he, the Brazil. World Cup. Brazil's And World how about Cup. those those women Holy in the soccer? Holy moly. I have never saying. seen anything like that. I mean, four Bring goals. Bringing it home. Like, Woo! Boom, so boom, excited. boom, boom. It yeah. was insane. It was great. I know. My whole household was going crazy. Oh, I'm sure Absolutely all the kids going. would go crazy. And, they, you oh, know, they're yeah. going to have the... Um, the ticker tape parade. Yes, they're going to have the I canyon know. of heroines. Mm. I heard. Instead of heroes, they make it heroines, which right. I think is good that they're doing that. Yeah, I yeah, think I really so too. Do. I'm happy that so. they're doing that. Well, they, they did a phenomenal job, so congratulations. And I know even Wimbledon is going on right now, and there's some Americans climbing the ranks oh, there. Oh, they are? I don't know yeah. what's going on with that. Well, I don't know. How was your jet lag coming back? Mine <laughs> oh, was, horrific. was horrific. I'm telling you. Horrific. Going there, I had no problem. No, me neither. I don't know why. I, I guess stayed because you awake. gained the six hours. Yeah, I stayed awake. I powered through. I woke up the next day, and I, like, stepped into yeah. my vacation. Coming yeah. home, first of all, the flight home was, I, I think, I thought I flew to Australia. Yeah, it's torture. It's so much longer. Well, it's torture because you don't really want to go home. So you're not happy about being on that plane to begin yeah. with. I mean, getting there, you're excited. You point. can't wait to get there. So, you know, you have all the energy you need. Um, coming home was torture, absolute torture. So. And it's longer because of something with the winds they're telling me. It I'm was like, a little I longer. Know, whatever. Yeah. I don't know, but it was horrible. Horrible. Yeah. It was horrible. Because, I, you know, when we landed at, well, I landed in New York on Friday about 4.30 that really meant it was 12.30 at night. Yeah. You know, so, and then it was only 4.30 in New York, so I had to go through a whole day. So by yeah. the time I went to sleep, like, technically, it was like 4 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. So, it, me too. it was rough. And then it took me probably till yesterday. Yesterday, I started feeling better. 
Yeah, it took yeah. me till uh, I would say Monday night. I started to like even out. Yeah, Monday night yeah. I was okay. But, but now we're um, back. I feel yeah. good. Now I'm back. I feel well, very well rested, and I feel actually. I also think that being back the couple of days and going back into the program um, made me feel better as well. For sure. Because there was a lot of cheese, oh, and I am a cheese a whole lot. I mean, cheese. that. Well, if you first ask of all, me, breakfast like, every morning was cheese. I mean, it was oh, like I, cheese and meats. No, and it was cheese. Breads, it was cheese. and it was just cheese, 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 and yeah, it was incredible. I yeah, mean, that's my. You know, I'll, I'll take that over anything. It's and also the wine, too, because we're not used to drinking wine. I mean, we, we, we'll drink vodka any day, yay. Um, but wine, we're not used to drinking so much of. Um, so to drink that much wine, and it's, you know, they Karen drink wine so at lunch. Fun. So, yeah, you know, yeah. you start at lunch and you start drinking, yeah, you know, either red do. wine or But they wine. don't drink like we drink. Like, no. they don't. They, they have, have a, glass. a glass of wine. We have a bottle. Or a half a glass of wine. <laughs> you know, it's very different. And... You know, um, the prices are great on the wine over there too. Oh, it's I mean, it's crazy. We went out to dinner with this 12 people, there was 600 700 dollars, yeah. and we must have had eight bottles of wine. Remember all that food? Yes, oh, my it was 700 dollars. So, that's the other thing, you know, people can you can do Italy if you if you know people who are from there who can guide you, you could do or Italy call us, very we'll guide you. yes, you could do it very economically and. And mm -hmm. safely and, and really quite reasonable with incredible food. You know, safely, it's funny you say that because um, I've never felt so safe traveling in all my life. And Chris and I drove from one end of the country to the other, mm -hmm. stopping at places, you know, tourists just don't stop at. Mm -hmm. People don't mm -hmm. speak English. I remember one place, um, Chris went in to get a drink and the woman didn't understand one speck of English. So he just went behind the bar and made his own drink. Yeah. Like, that's how friendly they are. Yeah. They're just like, oh, you come here, come, 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 come and come, you do. Yeah. Well, so, they love Americans. I guess so. That's the other yeah, thing. Yeah, which they is really nice. They love Americans. They think that we're like, well, they thought we were celebrities. They because did. Because they watch our show, obviously. Right. And they could not believe that we were there and, and that they see us on TV or on picture, the Facebook. Picture, and picture. They, yeah, they, I mean, I went to stay at this one place in, in Rome and the guy didn't know what to do for me. He kept saying to me, it's a pleasure to have you here. And right. what do you want? And I'll take you here. And anybody that comes here, I'll give them a discount. And That's I'm like, so funny. I'm like, guy, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm like, we're just, yeah, and I'm like, TV I'm doing, doing our thing yeah, every week. I'm like, know? I'm really not all that. And he's like, <laughs> right. and everybody's like, shh, be quiet. Let him run with it. Yeah, That's like, awesome. he's making reservations for us everywhere. And doing, <laughs> I'm like, okay, great. That one restaurant um, was amazing that we went to down in Rome. Incredible. That was great. That was like Piazza Navarra. Where were we? Yeah, it's right around there. Rustica, Rustaco, Restaurantico or something. I forgot oh, the name of it. Fantastic, though. But I it mean, was really, incredible. That, see, that's the thing. Like, we even on the road, you go to this place called the Auto Grill. It's kind of like when you're on the Jersey yeah. Turnpike. Yeah. And you pull over to get gas, and there's a little, you know, Howard Johnson's or something there. And there's Wendy's in there and Burger King in there and, you know, all kinds of crap. Cinnabon. Not to say, not to mention anything about Cinnabon, but um, <laughs> which is all crap. You pull off the road in no. in Italy, and they have like poached salmon and salads mm -hmm. with mozzarella, and they have paninis like fresh yeah, paninis. Fresh. With, Everything's fresh. Oh, it, it's insane! I was like, I could just eat here every yeah. night. It was beautiful. No, Absolutely it's beautiful. incredible what they. Yeah, it's. It, <laughs> Well, I don't know what to say. And, uh, it, it was just beautiful. And then the more, when we were walking through Naples, like all the fresh things oh, and yeah. everything right in the street. Like totally. it's, it's so such a different totally. lifestyle. They really, they love to live. They, they do. don't work to live. Or, 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 they love to right. live. And they want us to have experiences with you. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And uh, it was just such a nice way of life. I miss it so much. Uh, could you tell me why I came home? I really don't know. I really don't know. I don't know either. We're going to be back, though. So, Italy, hang on. We're coming back. Yes. Um, but and now we're going to drink some some uh, some booze. That's some spirits. it. We're going to celebrate with Prohibition Distillery. Brian is in the house. He's yes. making some cocktails Oh, my God. They right smell. Now. Did you see what he's got going yeah, on there? Yeah, he's got I some beautiful, wait. beautiful <laughs> drinks. Um, we're going to find out all about how he got involved in this business and what it's all about. So, um, Arriva Derchi for now. Ciao. See you in a few. Yeah.
Stretching under sedation or manipulation under anesthesia is a very gentle, very precise procedure to very slowly release any scar tissue that is formed as a result of a traumatic injury. Many people ask, how does this work? Will I get hurt? Will you stretch me too far? We only stretch the body part to its normal range of motion. After completing the post-MUA rehabilitation program, it's very common that our patients say to us, hey, I can play ball with my kid again. Hey, I can bowl again. Hey, I can enjoy hiking again. This is what makes it rewarding to us as practitioners. I'm Leland Frater, and I'm down here in St. Augustine, Florida, and you're watching MadhouseTV.com. Hi, I'm Tom Mealy from Madhouse TV, and when I'm not at the studio, I'm here at the Harrison Law Group. This is my real job. In this January 2015, Brett and I are putting together a show called Legal Straight Talk. It'll be aired on Cablevision as well as here at Madhouse TV. You need to tune in. This information that we're going to be giving the public is the real deal. It's all about what you should do, what you shouldn't do. So tune in this January 2015 for a new episode of Legal Straight Talk. Welcome back. Oh Here we are. Um, this look is my favorite show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's so funny is um, Brian had brought all these drinks to the table, and Regina's like, my favorite show by far oh, ever. My so we are thrilled and oh. excited. Um, Brian, welcome. Thank you for having me. It, it's such a pleasure to have you here. And um, your business, Prohibition Distillery, we met at the Long Island Hospitality Ball. Yes, absolutely. So you guys had such a beautiful setup there. And we were very impressed with what you had going on. And I know Christina very well, mm -hmm. who you were at the PJ Clark's Absolutely. table, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, providing amazing beverages. Yeah, we, we stopped at that table a couple of times. Yeah, well, it was definitely Just Chris saying. approved because Chris was like, give me one of those, give me one of those. Um, he loved it. So, you know, it, it's, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Well, thank you. I appreciate you, the invitation. Uh, PJ Clark's was absolutely wonderful. They're, they're supporting our brand uh, more so than any other place I've, I've seen they just embraced the small batch New York distilling mm -hmm. yeah and there are uh, actually all these cocktails uh, with the exception of one that's a new one um, are right on their menu that's awesome oh well that's gonna make me go there for lunch <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Your gonna be like, Let's go that's an incentive 
Uh, so what made you get into this business? I mean, this is not something the normal person would just be like, oh, I'm going to open a distill distillery. Like, well, where'd that start? Uh, it's a bit of insanity, I think, at this point. <laughs> oh, well, uh, you're from Comac, so, oh, yeah, you know, you local makes boy sense. goes insane, right? Yeah. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> you know, years ago, actually, I, I, I've always had the bug for being in the booze business. Um, you know, when I got out of the Navy, I was hanging out at a Blue Point Brewery years ago. Oh, and we used you're to go a veteran, for, which is great. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, which, which when I got out, we went and sat, we used to sit and drink growlers over there, and I always wanted to get into, you know, brewing, and then when the, the micro distilling bug came along, bumped into my partner on a Crosstown bus, and uh, we, you know, he had, an, he had a name for a brand, and um, I kind of had the passion to go to go make the products, oh, so, so it, cool. it was kind of a match made in heaven. Yeah, that's great. We I can mean, relate to that. Yeah, right? sure. Yeah. yeah, you know, and I think it all stems from passion. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. that's what you mentioned is that you know you did have a passion for this and the interesting ways you can you know develop different flavors and and uh, brands, which Absolutely. is great. Yeah, we've we've uh, you know passion is what what carries uh, small businesses. You know, and you guys know from starting your companies. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is what carries you when you don't have the money. You don't have the ability to compete against the Goliaths of the world, and you're sure. you're the little guy trying to be more maneuverable. And right. um, so that passion gets you through the 20-hour days and the seven days a week, and it's what what makes your brand. It gives it character. It gives it life. Yeah, and, absolutely, um, absolutely. So now, um, as far as the distillery goes, that's located where exactly? Uh, we're located in Roscoe, New York. Uh, we tried actually starting out being located out in Calverton. Uh, oh, the really? Grumman, on Long Island? Yeah, the Grumman uh, airstrip out there. I mm -hmm. used to, you know, as a Navy guy and right. love F-14s, thought it was perfect, and uh, we just couldn't afford it. Yeah, so we yeah. found ourselves creeping further and further up, and we found Roscoe, New York, which is the home of fly fishing in the United States. Oh, okay. It's, I've uh, never done that. Have you? You know what? I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> There's great golf courses by us. I've never visited one, right, so um, right. yeah, I'm just working all the time. But uh, everybody that fly fishes, we're we're the we're the home of it. So people come from all over the world to go fly fishing, mm -hmm. as well as hunting. So you get a lot of a lot of folks from the island up that fly fish and hunt all the time. It's That's like hanging out on the island sometimes. Nice. So tell us a little bit about the distillery itself, like. What, I don't even know what a distillery looks like. So right. Okay. Talk to us. Well, our distillery is uh, it's actually in an old firehouse. You know, we're a small oh. little town that that has I think 600 people. You know, during the during the winter, during the summer it just blossoms. Uh, but what we did is we bought the old firehouse built in 1929, and with that, that must we, be so cool. It's beautiful. A, yeah. Can you imagine that? Yeah. 600 no. Oh. Yeah. It's it's you know for us we went through we bought the firehouse and then we bought the VFW hall. And you know, my feeling with things is I never want to tear something down. And I think so many communities are losing that identity and that character. The things that sure. made the character, the character of the community for 40, you know, or actually this was uh, 80 years these mm -hmm. buildings were around. Mm -hmm. right. um, the firehouse almost 100 years at this point. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we went and preserved it. So it's kind of a cool thing. People come to the distillery. We actually make the spirits there. We do tastings. We have a little bar set up that people can come and have a cocktail. Oh, great. Uh, these will be featured there this week uh, in honor of you guys and your anniversary. So, oh, uh, nice. I'm so excited. Now, the firehouse itself, does it still have all the fire poles and everything like yeah, that? You know what? It was a volunteer house. We have a very proud firefighting community up there. Yeah. Everybody's a volunteer. And uh, it didn't have the pole. And, oh, okay. you know, it has beautiful tin ceilings and beautiful arched uh, ceilings in the back. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a big building. And in the back of it has these beautiful arched ceilings that can fit our, our, our column. Oh, um, but I it doesn't see. have it's a pole. Cool. I, I yeah. never That's thought to okay. put one in until afterwards, <laughs> after the construction was done. Right. And yeah. people said, uh, why don't you have a fire pole? Right. Well, you, that's you what I, th when I think of a firehouse, I think of those hot firefighters, you know, oh, she's swimming <laughs> down that pole. <laughs> she's hilarious. <laughs> but now, how did you guys come up with the, um, you know, idea on what to brew? Mm -hmm. Like what to make or distill, actually, yeah. what to distill, and how did you come up with the bottles and the pack? I mean, there's a lot involved to it that goes sure. into this. It's like, a brand. It's yeah. creating a did brand. Did you consult someone? Or you had an yeah. idea yourselves? You or? know what? We uh, we consulted with. We had we had an artist who's worked with us for, for a number of years. Mm -hmm. uh, he's uh, a wonderful guy. This guy uh, out, out in Seattle now. He's Roger Bentley. He used to be in New York City, and he used to work on a lot of brands like Mercedes and Coca Cola. Oh. But he was starting a new agency, and at the time, a lot of these ideas kind of came organically. Mm -hmm. uh, the label, uh, for instance, is an old, it's an old uh, prescription label for alcohol. Yeah, because it's oh, very cool. That. The bottle is very cool looking, yeah, isn't we, it? We actually went through and we used to take, this is actually was used as a document during the 1920s. You can go to your pharmacist, 
sign it. We got it on eBay for about 13 bucks. Look at that. Oh, we, that's really we cool. We put uh, Empire State Buildings instead of the federal symbol. We popped it out, put New York in the center of the universe because we're a bit egocentric. New York is the yes, center. We're the Mecca. Uh, we are the Mecca. Yeah. We know that. And it's got surrounded by Empire State Buildings fanning around to mm -hmm. give a shield. It's really beautiful. It's, it's a great design, and I think it's... Um, Something that resonates with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. like yeah. it just and has look at the back of the bottle. Now, this means something, doesn't it? The pop. Yeah. Well, I don't know if our audience can, can see it. Can they pick that? Can we zoom on that or no? I don't know. I don't know. Let me hold it up a little. Yeah, the back of the bottle is actually it's hard to poppy see, but flowers. It's all cut out. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a poppy gorgeous. flower. It's magnificent. Yeah, what we did, we put that on. Our brand has a lot of meaning, personal meaning to us. Um, the back of it's a poppy flower, which is a flower of remembrance for fallen soldiers and sailors. So after World oh, War One ended, I Prohibition began. Yeah, you ever see the old guys selling from the, the VFW? Yes, yeah, that's okay. Okay. We actually at our distillery, we don't charge for tastings or tours. We don't. We do it all free. Oh, so that's when people nice. come in, we want to educate them. And as we take them around on a tour, showing them how distillation works, we go and show them that uh, you know what the poppy is, and right. we encourage. We actually raise money for the VFW and the Legion out in Bayshore. There's oh, a there's oh, wow. an old gentleman that comes up to Roscoe every summer, and he's been doing it since World War II. And we we go every day. There's a donation jar that everything's done on tips. So the tips go right back to the VFW oh, and the American Legion. That's Russia. beautiful. You know, that's something that probably makes you very proud to be able to mm -hmm. contribute to people who, like yourself, who have served, you know, and, and risked their lives to for the people of America. Right. Well, so. I, I didn't risk my life. I was peacetime, but my, we have three active okay. duty naval aviators that yeah. are part of our company. Mm -hmm. But you and, know what, uh, Brian, at any point during your yeah. peacetime, you could have been called <laughs> to action. Exactly. So, you know, you went in there with the full intention of, right. you know, you made sacrificing a your life. Right, yeah. exactly. Well, we, so. we but this is the thing I love about supporting a local brand or smaller brands, mm -hmm. because there's so much more to it than just, I mean, the vodka's incredible. Let's just get that straight. But <laughs> there's so much more to it, and you would never know all all that goes behind it unless, you know, we're, we're able to speak about it today or you, or you find out about it or, you know, you're going to a PJ Clark's and you're trying something new and giving this, like, the little guy a chance. Like, mm -hmm. it's amazing to me. I'm, I'm proud to support it, you know? And, you know, one of the things I just read, uh, actually a, a pretty cool thing on Facebook, is that, um, you know, when you support... A big box brand, you're basically, you know, buying another part of that person's yacht. <laughs> um, whereas when you're supporting a, a homegrown brand and a, and a small business, mm -hmm. you're putting food on the table for for Correct. people of that family. Correct. So Correct. there's a big difference when you know you go out and you spend your money and you you know go into a liquor store, you go into a um, you know even a bar or establishment and you order something. Just mm -hmm. you know, think about that. Think about the fact that who do you want to support? Do you want to support somebody who's you know yawning around means means nothing to them for mm -hmm. you to buy their brand mm -hmm. or support you know a family man who has children and you know is is basically trying to make a living in this world mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. like I me, totally that's, agree that's yeah, so important and the impact with our brands when you look at things we do everything we do is 100 percent american made mm -hmm. um as well as the, the alcohol you know we're supporting new york farming new york agriculture governor cuomo has a whole thing taste new york you, mm -hmm. you see yeah. it on tv yes. mm -hmm. he's very proud of what what they're doing and you, you can you know, look at, uh, there's some spirits out on Long Island that are made with potatoes. A wonderful guy out there, Rich, out at Long Island Spirits. Um, there's, we mentioned a few other guys here. Everything we actually, uh, we do, it's a small community of everybody supporting one another. You don't see that in big business. It's no. all distillers support other distillers' products. Mm -hmm. So I'm as proud of, of what I make as what, you know, is coming out of Long Island mm -hmm. or Brooklyn or that's in Valley. Yeah, and I, I love great. the the uh, care in which you make it because it is all organic, and it is, if I'm not mistaken, gluten free. Well, and we're, what we're gluten free and kosher. I didn't go organic because right. when you're distilling something, if I was making beer, I'd make it organic. But when okay. you distill it, you've actually removed all the original grain out of it. Oh. So we're we're converting. We convert the grain to sugar. The sugar we go and go and ferment to make into beer, mm -hmm. and then we distill the beer. Which takes out all the all the so alcohol. So it's natural. It's a natural so it's product. Natural. Um, okay. But we are gluten free because we're 100 percent corn, and that's a huge thing for a lot of people that have celiac or they're doing a low gluten Very diet. Very much so today. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, we're actually, I think, the one of the only New York certified uh, distilleries. So every one of our products that come out, uh, from a kosher standpoint, we're certified. We get inspected about four times a year. Wow. Um, it was pretty fun. We thought that it was actually a blessing. Come from, yes. from the uh, we we thought the rabbi was coming in just to say. Uh, oh no! Yeah, yeah. And he he laughed. He said, "Go make money." You know, he yeah, said, yeah. It's a health <laughs> Oh, that's so, great. That's <laughs> great. Yeah. Speaking know. of making money, we have to make money now. We have to go to commercial. <laughs> so we'll be right back. Just give us two minutes.
Tom Vealy from Madhouse TV, and when I'm not at the studio, I'm here at the Harrison Law Group. This is my real job. In this January 2015, Brett and I are putting together a show called Legal Straight Talk. It'll be aired on Cablevision as well as here at Madhouse TV. You need to tune in. This information that we're going to be giving the public is the real deal. It's all about what you should do, what you shouldn't do. So tune in this January 2015 for a new episode of Legal Straight Talk. Candles are blown out after the last toast of the night. Cambridge Paving Stones with Armor Tech stand the test of time. Beautifully designed, built to last. Only Cambridge Paving Stones have Armor Tech, our unique process that produces a rich, distinctive color. Create your own memories with Cambridge Paving Stones. Visit CambridgePavers.com. Cambridge Paving Stones with Armor Tech will always look like. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. All right, I, I'm not done with the talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what this is. It up during but if you look at Karen's glass and my glass, I'm drinking this whole yeah. time. This is, I don't know what's in here, but it's so good. Let me well, taste it. Well, what, why don't we talk about that Ooh. for a minute? Let's talk about Please what talk these about are. It. Yeah, I made a few mm -hmm. fresh Before cocktails. Before she finishes them. Just <laughs> using uh, three, <laughs> we have four simple <laughs> ingredients. Uh, actually, there's five. Um, this is actually a strawberry smash. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's dark. It was, <laughs> I made her laugh. <laughs> I'm laughing. So, so that's a uh, strawberry smash. <laughs> Wait, I need a sip. <laughs> At least you didn't spit it up. That's <laughs> it's um it's just a it's muddled so strawberry, a uh, squeeze of lemon, an ounce of lemon, an ounce of simple syrup, and two ounces of our vodka. So everything um, is fresh. See this? Yeah. it's gorgeous. Yeah, I gorgeous. just wanted to see yeah. show you what you can do. No with just... soda, no gun crap that they put in mm. in uh, drinks. This is delicious. This is so good. So now tell me again, because I have to write this yeah, it's down. Our, it's our Bootlegger 21 Vodka, which is the, the actually won Best Vodka in the World. If you didn't know, we won Best American Best Vodka in the World. Really? Uh, that, that, is is quite, why. And yeah. that is quite an accomplishment. Yeah, travel Because leisure. there's a hundred vodkas out there. Yeah, yeah. there's thousands. Thousands. <laughs> I, I know of a hundred. Yeah. yeah we, but we've, we've beaten everything every competition <laughs> we've entered. I know uh, Travel and Leisure just named us top six global vodka. But what we do is our vodka is so amazing. smooth that you don't need to put a lot of Wait a minute, high five on that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. awesome. You should be so you. proud of yourself. Well, Let's drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I mean, I'm it's driving so good. I can't even tell you. So that's, that's just a simple four-ingredient cocktail. The other cocktails we did, this is a Southside, which is one of the original oh. original uh, cocktails. Well, let me try that. <laughs> that one's uh, made out of lime. So what I did is I took, uh, I took mint lime and a uh, little bit of uh, smell that. vodka this Pick time. That Typically, it's made from gin. Give it a try. It's, it's the official cocktail at 21 Club. But you can also get it over at PJ Clark's. They carry that. That's on their menu right now. We're going to PJ Clark's. Is that a lot of flavor? That is delicious. Just very simple, very so fresh. So clean. We have to make this in the backyard. This is, this we get in the Hamptons. Yeah, mints, we mints. We have to go buy mints by the case. I'll get you. But, the rest so of tell me what's in here again. That's mint? just mint, uh, bootlegger 21 vodka. You could use the gin, is what I normally use, and a um, little bit of simple syrup and and uh, now what's lime. simple syrup? What does that mean? I have it. It's all you do is take a <laughs> cup of sugar and a cup of water. Yeah. Stir it together, heat uh -huh. it up a little bit, and you got simple syrup. I you actually, could, you I could actually use agave it. nectar if you want to keep mm. your glycemic level oh, I have down. Got, I have a agave but, nectar. But this one okay. is actually made with honey syrup. So when I got oh. here, I took some fresh um, 
blossom honey, and I put it with half honey, half water. So this is gin. It's one. It's called the bee's Let's go knees. To this one. <laughs> yeah, go to this one. This is the bee's knees. The it's, bee's uh, knees. Oh, what yeah. was this one go. called? Here? That one's called the South Side. South Side. South this strawberry is what? smash. Strawberry the, smash. Oh. South, South Side. Side. Bees knees, get it straight. It we'll, page, and you know so. what? I want to put these on our website too. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So get those recipes to me, and I will put them up there. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Let me try these. It's no, true. this is ridiculous. Cheers. This Cheers. one's a good one. But it doesn't taste like alcohol. That there's no, there's no. Um, Oh, that's good. You know, there's no burn. There's no... Um, no. Well, it's so refreshing. <laughs> I have plenty for you guys. Um, Tommy's like, what, what do I look like? What? Well, no, what I mean, you have, I can't believe it. Well, what makes our vodka very different, I'll show you it's something. It's so clean. I feel like I could drink it. Yeah. Oh, you, you can. Oh, um, this has been the martini for... It's a martini vodka. But the thing, idea of even a martini vodka is silly because when we were growing up, vodka was just vodka. Then all of a sudden, luxury vodkas came out. Right. People put them in the freezer. You ever see a vodka stored yeah. in the freezer? It gets yeah. a little yes. syrupy. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, Everybody yeah, tells yeah. you it gets syrupy, but what's kind of interesting, if you look in there, we all know that alcohol doesn't freeze. Right. So it's kind of neat. If you look inside that bottle, there's a sludge line that runs right down the middle of it. It's called glycerol. It's all the European products are loaded with glycerol. When oh, you, it's so when sugar you, it should, well, it's actually oil that's used in shampoo. It's yeah. used in yeah, uh, it's a no wonder I get a headache. No wonder I get a headache. Toxic. So the difference between the luxury and the that and the and the cheap one yeah. is oil and sugar. Right. So if you pour it on your hands, that's how you tell good vodka. Right. Pour it on your hands, it should be it should be clean. It's alcohol. Right. All the big brands are going to be sticky. Yes. So, oh, so that's okay. so that's why they tell you to drink it straight because it's expensive. Right. But it's really the same thing as the cheap stuff. The reason why you get less hangover, you're drinking it straight. Yeah. So, you so you're not adding like you're not the adding sugars sugar. and With ours, like that. ours, what we do is we filter for 24 hours through 800 pounds of charcoal. It requires me to sit there and my, my other guys, we sleep all night next to a filter. And we're filtering back you and forth. sleep all night next to you, the well, you, filter? You, well, you keep doing asleep. it. It's good. Um, that's what <laughs> makes yeah, sense. It. And you mentioned it's gin. delicious. <laughs> it is good. And with gin before, you know, with what gin is, gin is actually, you meet all the people that say they drink gin, but they get sick from gin. Or well, her cousin crazy. says she, get, she can't drink Yeah, my cousin crazy. said to me once that, you know, she can drink vodka, but she has a bad reaction to, like, gin makes her loopy. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, I, I don't understand why, but... You just explained that to me. So yeah, yeah, what gin is, we take vodka, we do a traditional method like the beef eaters, the tank rays, all the old school guys. I love what they do. And we soak, like steeping a big tea bag with juniper berries, coriander, lemon verbena, orris root, and bitter orange. It turns brown. We redistill it to make it clear, but you leave it at 94 proof. So all the people that are drinking gin, they're just getting a lot drunker than the people that are drinking vodka. Oh. So when they say that juniper makes them crazy or they get into fights, Mm. Or they're angry. If they're just angry before they started drinking. Yeah, and they yeah. just got drunker faster than you did. Oh, I see. So they always seem like they're on a different level. It's uh, gin. Gin is always a higher proof. I always say that about tequila and me. If I drink tequila, I can go two ways. Mm -hmm. I can either end up naked on a table <laughs> or in a fist fight with somebody. So that's but usually that's usually, usually that... with mall strings. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, okay, some. Well, tequila. <laughs> But wait a minute, you actually put vodka in there? Yeah, that was vodka. It, it does it, not I, taste it. It, it feels it has, so clean. I don't get it. We have no burn. I'm going to try this. <laughs> well, even I mean, you smell it coming out of the bottle, there's no smell. Oh, so our no, product is so that. clean that you can drink it all Oh, night. can you oh. put it in my hand a second? Yeah, I'll show you. I want to see what you mean. Because that's incredible. You can pour it down her throat because she really wants to really oh, taste just it. Just rub it together. And you'll yeah, feel it doesn't best. have that, that like oh, oh, sticky. I'll put that on me. Look it seems that. like such a waste. You put pouring vodka. That's no all right. I'll make more. Oh no! Well, now we're gonna stick in the <laughs> no, car. And no, no, it's like having. Purell. You just clean your hands. But if you notice, oh, yeah. when but your hands no dry, no, there's no nothing. stickiness. That's this how you tell good vodka. Six terrible. times distilled. When you see that, it means nothing. People that go and say that they distill, we're a distillery. We're part of this whole movement of micro distilleries around the U.S. In New York, there's 108 right now. It only started seven years ago. Oh, yeah. The U.S., after Prohibition, said, you know, states, you, you're, you're, you regulate how distilleries can open. So the licenses are really expensive. So Governor Cuomo and, and the state went, or actually before him, the state went through and changed the licensing to mm -hmm. make it cheaper. Mm -hmm. But there's over 700 distilleries around the U.S. right now, all making things fresh, Clean. local, cleaner products. Yeah. Yeah. And what's great is the tax, the jobs you mentioned before. We employ now 10 people. Um, that are right. up at our distillery, that there were no jobs there. These are jobs that were created. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. we're impacting the farmers, and we're impacting sure. the glass makers, and the sure. label makers are out of sight. Well, you're definitely impacting And they're all me. out of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know who and else we have to look up with? Um, out of New York, uh, Verde. Yeah, Verde, this for is sure. Because for Verde, if you're watching, um, this is right up your alley. Yes. They have a lot of 
um, small barrel liquors in mm -hmm. their facility, which is right down the block. It's so a yeah. wonderful place. You should definitely stop by. And they have by a phenomenal um, cocktail menu, like mm -hmm. really different, which I think that this would be a perfect pairing with. And I'm I know they have like I don't know what bourbons, but the the vodka and the gin is incredible. Yeah, and I never really had gin. I mean, this is like it's delicious. Who would know to put gin and honey together? Yeah, it's it's original cocktail. I really don't think there's anything. It's just <laughs> lemon honey. He's and tricking gin. us. <laughs> no, you'll feel it. You're gonna feel it a yeah, little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I could see it in her already. Yeah. Just you so can? you know, yes. Yeah, our, yes. our gin was actually one. named uh, <laughs> two weeks ago. Vodka and gin were named to to serious eats. They uh, this made the main writer that writes for Whiskey Advocate and Edible. Um, she named us to the list of uh, top American spirits for our gin and and. and uh, and vodka, which was really cool. That's, like my really, that's quite an accomplishment. I mean, to be able to do that in such a short period of time. How long oh, have you huge. been in business? We've been in business. Started out and actually, the product came out in 2010, the first vodka, which won on the first day, won the awards. And then gin just came out last year. So we started out co-packing, meaning we were sharing another person's distillery. There was a product in your show, which was a little bottle of whiskey. Mm -hmm. we, oh, yeah. we worked there for like three and a half oh, years, yes. sharing their their <laughs> space. Oh yeah, which that's is, when we had Village Wine Merchants. Yeah, we, yes. we uh, yeah. so it's funny he didn't. Our bourbon hadn't come out yet, okay. and our bourbon's also 100% corn. Um, we age these in small barrels. You have barrels. to call Michael from Village Wine Merchants. Yeah, I have to definitely stop by. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, he's for right sure. in Seacliff. Yeah, he's oh. on your way home. Yeah, oh, very yeah. cool. Yeah, he's great too. He's a nice guy. Nice guy. So you rent you rented space yeah, from there. Yeah, we essentially you... rented space, and we would go up there and bottle. I, these are all hand labeled, hand bottled, hand mm -hmm. corked. By the way, everything you see here starts with the touch, and it, you know whether it's lifting a pack, a bag of grain, or you know going through and distilling it and blending it, and then we bring it upstairs. We're hand corking it. I still have a bruise that won't go away uh, for mm -hmm. the last oh, from last five corking. years from yeah. corking. So we hand yeah. cork it, hand label. All these labels are surprisingly straight because uh, we're not drinking while we're making it. Yeah. <laughs> but they're um, but we're putting them on by hand, and it's oh. it's it's really something cool that it's not only a sense of making something from yeah. scratch, it's also having community, the family involved. You know, mm -hmm. I, have, I have my half my family it's... from Long Island comes up every weekend um, to go and help us bottle and get orders out. It's, oh, it's nice. really so cool. So how do we well, how, how do we buy very popular? Like how do we buy? You're gonna really cork everything now no, going I've, forward. I've, we are thinking love, about something like I would a machine. Love a bottling line. Yeah, would, yeah. <laughs> I could go home at night and sleep if, if I had yeah, a bottling line. Yeah. Um, you we, will. We, we well, are you looking for you some will. investors yeah. or anything well, like we've, that? We've, uh, we're going to be opening eventually another round of investment. You know, we're, we're getting a lot of folks that have uh, we've been growing, and a lot of people have been watching us, taking note in the industry because yeah. we're. Everything we make is really good. Yeah. We don't have one bad product. Oh, we right. got to know um, about that. Yeah, that's what but, I'm thinking. We got to know about that. We want oh, in, Brian. <laughs> no, I will let you know. <laughs> no, where I'm serious. Oh, yeah, I'm me sorry. too. Believe me, you've been, you've been, someone tells you they're serious, we come. We'll, yes. We'll talk. But um, you can get it out on the island. Um, you know, our products are carried from the Rainbow Room to the Nobu to 21 Club. Um, to PJ Clark's out here to swallow. We've been swallowing. Oh, oh yes. swallow. Yeah, yeah. My, that's my buddy Jimmy. Uh, oh, chef oh nice. Yes, yes. He's, uh, he's been One carrying our products. One of my favorites. One of my favorite restaurants. So you can get it there and you can get it at all the, uh, the every retailer in the area, like Simply Wine, the bottle stores, um, you know, what theirs are in Huntington and, and you know, we're, you we're all over the place. You need to call Elwood Wines. Elwood Wines and Liquors, right? And call Nick. On, we are on actually Elwood in Elwood. Road. Oh, you in, you're yeah, in Elwood. Yeah, we're okay, vodka is in there, so you can find oh, it. That's awesome. Right here in Forget Comac, it. We're in you a bunch just, of places. Yeah, you just <laughs> got your bottle line. Yeah, or whatever that thing is. My husband, forget, forget it. about it. Yeah, forget you about it. You have no idea. <laughs> you just got your bottle line. Oh, I will send it with. But the, he with would the love this. When he loves it. He would, when we were at oh the when we were at the event. That's right. He was like. This is amazing. He's like, yeah. He doesn't really love vodka straight. Like he'll do a dirty martini. He'll do one like, um, you know, with a little cranberry. But he doesn't. Yes, and he was drinking it yeah. straight. He's like, this is amazing. Either of these products, whether it's the gin or the vodka, you can actually the way we drink it. I pour it in a glass, put it with rocks, a twist of lemon. That's, and that's it. it. That's, that's how I usually yeah. tr tr prefer to drink vodka is straight rocks with just no, lemon. No, we are making all but these drinks this weekend. But I stopped doing stop that right because I, I really am not a big, <laughs> I know it sounds funny today, but I'm not a big, big drinker. But I like to go out and I like to have one good drink. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's what I do, the vodka Just on the rocks. But, one. Well, that's what I normally do. I do, <laughs> I like it? that. But Save that because we're going to go to commercial <clears throat> because. Um, oh, we are? And then when oh. we come back, we have about another 15 minutes to. Oh, to good. So up. I'll tell so, you my story. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Hopefully we'll still not. Be slurring. We'll be. We'll be okay. I'm not slurring. This is okay. nothing. No, it's good. I
Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville. I run Cochrane, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. And we're back. And we're back. Okay, so I already gave my drink, one of my drinks away because we I had to raving it, about it. We had to take it away from her because she was just abusing it. No, no, I wanted Tom to try it. Yes. And he loved it. He came to take a sip and he took it right away. It was that great. He did. He loved it. And um, we love it. So where do we get it? Yes. Well, we're in uh, 12 states and in two countries now in Italy, and you just went, came back oh, from Italy. Oh, where were you? Italy, we were in Italy. I haven't gone to Italy, but they, we sent a container load of gin and vodka over because they, they heard about it, and we shipped it out in December. Oh, we actually could uh, we, we could help, help you with you. that. That would yeah. be tremendous. Okay, uh, you got that. What about St. Martin? Are you in the Caribbean at not, all? Not okay, as we got that too. <laughs> Okay, we well, got put us there because we'll, we'll go to, be there in November. So if you go to our website on Prohibition Distillery or Bootlegger Twenty One dot com, uh, you can find you can find a list of stores in your area that carry it, um, as well as if you go to our Facebook page at Prohibition Distillery. I'm not sure if it's supposed to look over there, but uh, Prohibition <laughs> yeah. Distillery um, on Facebook it has all a lot of the different sure. bars and restaurants that feature it. Whether you're out in the Hamptons, you're at or Montauk, you're at Swallow, or uh -huh. at Nick and Tony's in East Hampton. Oh. Um, you can you can find us pretty much uh, we're, we're sporadically out there because it's just me out there selling so we make it I go out and as sell it as many places as you can hit you're exactly. only one person well so, listen yeah. next time you go Definitely out east, let us know today. we have to and we'll go there. with yes we'll go yeah. we'll go with you because I have we have I have a place in the Hamptons oh, that's wonderful. so I have yeah. some connections out there with restaurants mm -hmm. And if I know that you're going to be out there, I'll make it a point to meet you and meet some of these we'll people. We'll be out there this we'll weekend do that. if you'll be out there. I, I want to help you with this because yeah, it's so good. And I love the whole and theology we're about it. So we have to help build the business. Yeah, this yeah. weekend yeah. I'll be, we have a spirits festival up in Warwick, New York, where it's no. all, it's about uh, 30 micro distilleries getting together. Cool. And, um, get where are we going there this weekend? Um, it's up in, it's at another distillery in Warwick. Um, they're calling it the... 
I actually don't remember what it's called, but yeah. it'll be on my Facebook page okay. as well as uh, we're opening our cocktail bar at the distillery this weekend. Oh, congratulations. So, yeah, I keep All having good to be things. two places at one time. Really is hard to do, but I, yeah, that is. I'll figure out how it to do it. It can be challenging. You can't clone yourself. We I don't know, know how right, that works. Yeah. We know. Exactly. We know. It's hard. Yes, yes, yes. But well, I love still the whole around theology tonight, behind it, too. I love I it. I do have mm. an extra ticket to the uh, Prime party tonight if you'd like to come oh, at 6 wonderful. to 8. So let me know. Call oh, me. maybe you oh, want to cool. meet them too. But you have to. Well, you have your family is watching your family. <laughs> my right? family's watching my family. <laughs> oh. I, they came from Comex. My dad went up to Roscoe. My oh. mom went to Hoboken. Oh wow! And uh, yeah, so we're. You're I, have to the place. I have to relieve them. But um, okay. yeah, we're we're distributed by the big distributor on Long Island, which is Empire Merchants. Okay. So the same people that drop off all the big brands, you can get us in any store if you just ask. Right. And right. Because okay. maybe the retailer doesn't know about us because I haven't gotten to meet all of them. So that's it. You need to ask your local. Yeah. Taylor to supply you with the best vodka I've ever had. And gin. Oh, and hell gin. No, I, I, know. Like I gin. didn't even know. I didn't even like gin. No, I've never had gin. But this is such Sunday. a nice little um a little drink, like a, almost like an aperitif mm -hmm. that yeah. you would have. Like my mother would love this. Drink. Oh yeah. She would sure. love it. It's so mild I love it. and sweet. It's delicious. Delicious. <laughs> I it's love perfect, it. and you know what? To me, it kind of just tastes like vodka. There's really not a big, huge difference. Well, I think you know, it's a little more. I mean, just because of the way this is flavored, mixes it up. There's yeah. actually a lot of little spike points that you're tasting mm -hmm. that you're thinking is the honey or the, the mint. That's actually all the gin botanicals. Oh, so it, it's. Oh, you're kidding me! Yeah, I thought it was that. Yeah, you're right. So you get a lot of little rounded complexities. So gin, gin just brings more flavor. And I really like vodka. that. I like that um, I t ice herbal kind mm -hmm. of. It's like floor, like an elderflower or something that you can. Well, the flavor. juniper. Well, the, the juniper it. gives you the pine, and then the uh, there's actually something in there called the orris root, which is the root of a kind of common iris flower, which is used in Chanel, Chanel number no. five. So, oh. so the perfume. We can thing wear it. Using. Right, that's you what it is. You can wear the gin too. You, you can. That's, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> just Let's smell that. Kill two birds. Yeah, when you when you smell it, you'll smell the the juniper, yeah. but. When you taste it, oh, you're yeah. tasting some light floral, very, which is uh, this could be like potpourri. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> She's I mean, it's incredible. Like I don't get it. Mm. It's like now I've never smelled this it's that delicious. pure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's what it you is. Know? I mean, that's the difference. Well, now I understand moonshine. I'm going to start drinking moonshine. Yucky stuff. <laughs> Processed yucky stuff, no good, right? Yeah. I mean, we all right. agree. We try to eat as clean as possible. We don't want to be to around toxins as you know as mm -hmm. much as we can. We try to avoid all kinds of chemicals and processed and you know anything like that. So here is our solution. Yes, no, one hundred percent alcohol. I I'm mean, you excited. can't get closer to the earth than that. So all of our cleansers out there, we now <laughs> pre-approve Bootleg Twenty One. <laughs> right? um, all of our cleansers can drink this because it's gluten free and it's free of all toxins. Yes. So, Except yeah. when you're doing your first thirty days. Yeah, try no, to stay no, away from it. No alcohol in the first thirty days. But this is incredible and just fresh seasoning. Yeah, Delish. Well, the bootlegger for me in anything probably would work good. So I mean, well, I what's could your favorite it, one now? I see you really like that one. I really one. like this one. You know, I, I love strawberry. I really, really love strawberry. Um, but for Does some reason- Does that mean reason, this is more for me? <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? She just stole my own drink. Uh, but this to me is just so refreshing. Like I could drink this all day long at the beach. Well, if, yeah, you, like, if you're a martini drinker, just mm -hmm. take, this is what it's made for. It's so clean. It beat every brand through $90. It was the most expensive brand at the time. Oh, uh, what it is the price point? Oh, uh, we're only, we're mid twenties on, on the vodka. Oh, wow. I was running between 25 and $29 a bottle. Really? That's, that's great. The is about, uh, I think about $35 a bottle. Nice. And the right. uh, bourbon, this is our, you know, we only do uh, batches of 300 to 400 bottles out of this. So this is about $46 a bottle. We didn't really talk about the bourbon too much. Tell us a little bit about the bourbon before we close. Sure, we, we do. We do small batch, 100% corn bourbon. So right off the bat, it's very unique. Mm -hmm. It's all New York, 100% New York rain. What we do is we take that, distill it to about 143 proof, which is an old English Navy term, if you're ever wondering what proof means. Yes. They used to light uh, at 100 proof, would light and burn a blue flame, mm, which meant wow. that it was proof that it was good, which mm -hmm. was 50% alcohol. Europe doesn't use it. See, we learn we, something we every day. It. We're an but, educational um, show. <laughs> but what we do is we age things in smaller barrels. So we put it, like this one was aged in a 25 gallon barrel from Kentucky and we put it right on the side where it came from, how old, it, how long it was aged. Uh, but bourbon is a lot more flavor. There's a lot more, you get a lot of, a lot of notes of uh, cinnamon, vanilla, chocolate. All those things are in bourbon. So when people are drinking bourbon, 
a lot of people make the mistake of not putting water in their whiskey. You're supposed to put a cube or a little bit of water to open up the product. Mm. Oh, this is see? A, it's a 92 proof whiskey, it's unfiltered, which a lot of people don't realize that whiskey gets filtered just like other products. We don't filter. I take a barrel, my guys and I lift up the barrels, we go and run it through cheesecloth, put a little water into it to bring it to 92 proof and let it sit in a barrel. Uh, or into it right into the bottle so it's going right from barrel to bottle with wow. very little you know that's amazing like, any uh process. and now do you mix bourbon into drinks is it it's something you put in cocktails or you drink it straight up well, how I do you drink i bourbon? drink my bourbon straight up okay um, I when don't you make know. something it took yeah. me about two you know 18 to 21 months to make it but you can do some great bourbon all these cocktails you could do with bourbon and it works just as well if you're, if you're a bourbon drinker yeah i, I it. just tend to drink it so straight. it took you 18 to 21 months to make that bourbon the batch that's right here is 18 months old in a small wow. 25 gallon that's barrel. a labor of love that's and, all yeah. about love and passion for and, your craft it really is you cheers to, to you <laughs> cheers <laughs> to you i have no excuse i have no <laughs> excuse this one <laughs> And happy anniversary to you, Karen. Happy anniversary, We couldn't have picked Regina. a better. We couldn't have picked a better. Uh, this is perfect. Uh, subject matter yes. today, right? Yeah. Cheers, Thank Brian. You. So we're excited to be able to um, experience Bootlegger Twenty One in um, all of our local restaurants. Yes. And we can find that information. Well, first off, all of Brian's information um, is right on our website, so you can click over to Shake It Up with Karen and Regina .com and just go to upcoming shows or learn about our guests. Mm -hmm. Everything is up there. You can click right on over to his site and um, be able to find out exactly what restaurants you can go ahead and get this in, as well as retailers in your neighborhood. And if it's not in your neighborhood, make sure you tell your retailer to get it in your neighborhood yes, because yes. it is phenomenal. Make Regina a request, they'll get thrilled. it, they'll get it. And yeah. when you're there, ask for a bootlegger cocktail mm -hmm. and they'll know exactly what you're talking about. Or if you have your favorite thing that you drink, like I would, I mean, this is now my favorite. She's going to be in PJ Clark's every week this week. But, um, <laughs> and also, where's the other place that he said? Swallow. Swallow. And I forgot some places. Yeah, there's, but there's a number of places. Yeah. I, I just don't um, know the top of my yeah. head. I would also Tons. drink it straight mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So instead of ordering, like, the big name vodka, I would order the bootlegger on the rocks with a little lemon, and I'd be a happy and person. You, and when you wake up in the morning, you actually have nothing. Um, it's <gasps> no it's insane. We, that's that's the filtration. That's good. That's, that's All right, exactly well, so we will we see you on the 22nd when we go to a completely different subject, right? Um, well, yeah, on the 22nd, <laughs> we're actually going to do a follow-up. If you remember last time, we had Catalina and Beth here talking a little bit about Reiki. And um, what happened to them has been phenomenal Incredible. since that show. Mm -hmm. So um, we've asked them back. They're coming with their holistic uh, practice that they work very closely with. And we're going to really get into how to make... Um, a difference in New York with allowing insurance companies to actually pay for the services that people need mm -hmm. as opposed to just the medications that they sure. can buy. It's going to so, be a groundbreaking show. It's really going to be amazing. So that's the 22nd. So we'll see you on July 22nd. On July right? 22nd. Tonight, if you're down in Huntington, we'll be down at Prime. If you're up in Roscoe, New York, please visit yes, Prohibition Distillery. Stop by Brian's place. Yeah, I mean, he does free tastings. That's worth the drive right there. Yes, but leave a good tip, people. Yeah, so when are Don't the be tastings? cheap. The tastings are um, any day, 11 any, to 6. Yeah, Daily, 11 to 6. So that's a great little brunch. All right, we got to go. We're getting yelled at. All right, bye. Brian, thank, thank you, you so much. Cheers, Brian. Brian. Thank you, guys. Bye, Stay everyone. Home. Have a great weekend. <laughs>